So in our series based on the AI topics, today we are going to cover the topic that is dense net. Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to focus on the densely connected neural networks, in short, dense net. So let's jump on to straightforwardly the paper which is going to serve as the base of this particular topic. So densely connected convolutional networks, this work is uh, proposed by Gao Huang et al. And uh, these authors have discussed in detail that the convolution networks can substantially deeper, more accurate, and efficient to train if they contain shorter connections between layers close to the input and those close to the output. So uh, the authors uh, have uh, discussed multiple things, including the dense net, including the layering concept, including the kind of connections, and then the compelling advantages, and uh, the vanishing gradient problem, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Multiple things are there. Additionally, they have. Uh, also discussed the object recognition benchmarks being tasked with respect to different uh, data sets, including the CFR10 and uh, CFR100, then SVHN and ImageNet. All these uh, data sets we have included and discussed in our data set series. So if you are interested, you can go and watch. Now coming to this particular topic. So here, this uh, particular work belongs to the computer vision and pattern recognition and the RZI also curates uh, this particular topic uh, and uh, this paper inside this particular list. Now, when we discuss all the things then related to the submission history and all these things, so you can see over here that uh, it is a 2016 related work, the first version. So bit old, not very old, but a bit old work, but uh, still with respect to the AI introduction and its uh, recent advancement, it's uh, highly recommended to go through. Then um, if we discuss on to this particular work, then let me show you the actual PDF. And uh, we'll see that uh, what is going to be the architecture of this particular work, how they have uh, defined the different sorts of thing into the work, how they have compared and all the things. So a five layer dense blocks with the growth rate of A, they have shown over here. Uh, starting with the basic introduction, then the related works, some of the related works are there. Then a deep dense net with the three dense blocks that they have shown. Coming to the dense nets introduction, they have discussed with the dense connectivity, then going to the composite layer, cooling uh, layers, and uh, they have also covered the rest nets, uh, a very popular, another convolution network that uh, we have covered in a separate video. Then jumping on to the bottleneck uh, layers, uh, the compression, the implementation details, uh, finally they jump on to the experiments and uh, they have included number of methods with respect to uh, the ResNet, ResNet with stochastic depth, then wide ResNet, and uh, the dense net with a number of variations. So all these things are uh, given over here. And finally, as I told you, that with respect to different data sets, they have given the discussions. So all these discussions are provided over here. So quite a good detailing with respect to the data sets and the neural networks. Now, when we jump onto this particular topic, then we should uh, introduce the topic in a formal way. So let me tell you that dense net is a type of uh, neural network or in particularly we should say convolution neural network which utilizes the dense connections between layers. And uh, when we say dense layers, so, so uh, we also have the concept of dense blocks where we have uh, the all sort of layers which are connected. And uh, uh, to preserve the feed forward nature because in neural networks we have the feed forward and uh, back propagation. So to preserve the feed forward in nature, each layer obtains the additional inputs from all preceding layers and passes on its uh, own feature maps to all subsequent layers. So that's the basic function of DenseNet. And uh, coming to its importance, its relevance in the field of AI, let me tell you, there are hundreds of papers focused on DenseNet. And uh, some of the particular papers, uh, those are quite uh, interesting with the respective titles. One is MESH a self-regularized and non-monotonic activation functions. Then another one is uh, the making convolution networks a shift invariant again. Then uh, there are a number of other works also, uh, including a particular work, which is DEP graph, DEP DEP, and graph, DEP graph towards any structural pruning. And uh, another one is two at once, means enhancing learning and generalization capacities via IBM. So these are some of the works which are based on DenseNet. If you are interested in more works, you can go through the Google Scholar and Scholar. You can search yourself. 
particularly coming to the kind of box so as i told you multiple times including uh, in my video of bgg and resn that uh, these sort of uh, uh, artificial uh, neural networks can be used for a number of or the variety of tasks including the normal classification cementing segmentation object detection uh, super resolution uh, image classification and uh, the kind of uh, computed tomography so these are some of the common uses Additionally, uh, the VGG-16, AlexNet, MobiNet version 2 are some of the common competitors of this particular uh, convolution network. Now, coming to the basic components related to the uh, this particular network, so obviously the convolution, uh, the pooling, dropout, uh, the filtering, and uh, the softmax, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all these terms are quite related, uh, quite common component of uh, this particular uh, neural network and uh, if you are interested then you can go to any basic introductory ai course and you'll find all the related details so just to keep the video short let me conclude the topic that uh, this particular uh, uh, neural network is going to be immensely useful for you if you are interested uh, in artificial intelligence or deep learning so i highly recommend you to go through this particular base paper and you will find a lot more, lot more details. In particular, not only the introduction details, and you will find the basic architecture as well as the kind of detailed experimental details. And obviously, you will find that how to write a papers, how to show the specific uh, great results, and how to show the kind of improvement that you have achieved over the other existing ones. So that's all from my side for this particular video. If you didn't like anything, please do comment in the side. Let me tell you that uh, there are a number of other videos which might be more useful. So don't only restrict it to this particular video. There are a number of videos available. There are a number of blogs available. So do um, uh, search in, do a deep search and you'll find the number of related contents. Uh, have a wide search, have a wide interaction, have a wide exposure and just conclude your experience. And then if possible, then try to tell me in a short uh, message, in a short uh, kind of comment that uh, what are the kind of things which are wrong in this particular video, which are the kind of things which are novel for you and which are the kind of things which should be added to improve the kind of authenticity of this particular content. So that's all and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.